Hello Star Wars fans and collectors, this is Star Wars Dude 0515 here with my first action figure review since of course my drought, um, sorry, virus, got it taken care of, Visa being posted. Uh, yeah, I did post two videos, uh, yesterday, but they were both, how do I say it? Oh, yeah, we were posted two weeks before, but the virus took them off. The virus almost wiped everything off my computer, but, uh, thank God, not for destroying Star Wars Dude 0515. Hopefully some of you might have been heartbroken, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but yes, today it is Aura Singh. Totally late on this video, as you may see here down in the corner, what her number is. And what number we're up to, like, like, mmm... Crap, I'm, I have all exclusives here in the back. I can't read what number. We're up to like the 55s and stuff. Uh, so yeah, definitely. The 11, I'm really late. Got this guy off of eBay. A couple, he, what, it was for my birthday as well as the Senate Commandos. And uh, the, as well as the Nikto Guard. Uh, all those videos will be posted soon and once I do have them up I will put links in this video somewhere uh, for them most likely down in the description uh, area but now on to the figure obviously with articulation uh, a ball hinged ankles knees swivel hips swivel wrist ball hinged elbows Shoulders, ball hinged. I guess it would have been ball joint. No, or, yeah, ball. I guess I don't know what I would call that. I guess a swivel torso, uh, and a ball jointed head. Uh, this figure I'm very impressed with. Hasbro did a great job on this. Unlike the Ahsoka Tano figure, this one is not as thin has a little bit more meat to it uh but something you might not know go to your aura sing figure if you have her bend her down and look at her head like put your fingernail in front of her hair and in front of her antenna look at it it's an asaz ventress head it even it in the faint markings in the in the uh sorry if you hear background noise uh, even in the faint white paint you can see those I'm sorry in the white paint you can see those faint lines but I'm very impressed with this figure because she is like thin but they didn't make her that crappy a Sakatana build I don't know if I already said that but hopefully I didn't <laughs> uh, this figure also comes with some pretty pretty cool accessories comes with the shoot come geez it comes with this blaster pistol or, yeah, I guess this would be like more of like a revolver slash pistol. It comes with like two triggers for some reason. I don't know why. I don't particularly know why. That just beyond me. And she also uses this sniper rifle. I leave it on her back because I like it like that. And it also comes with two pouches for ammo here. But they do not come off, so... Sorry. Uh, if you do see this figure on eBay, you're definitely not probably going to see it in stores anymore. Pick it up just because it is a wonderful figure to get, uh, in my opinion, just a all out number one figure. So there she is. Uh, you know what I think is funny? Also, I did this on the LS review that they say all like the bounty hunters use the same models but this rifle this sniper rifle here is nothing like ls or like boba fett's or uh i don't think Django fett ever used a rifle uh or any 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 uh any bounty hunter uses the same no, not one figure i know of has the same weapon as the other bounty hunter uh, but maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm not. Uh, also with this figure you will get the stand, the die that we all have about two billion of, and the card of her sniping. I think that's, 
that's either, no, I'm pretty sure that's when she's uh, at that hotel room shooting at the Sun of Commandos. I don't think that's when she's trying to shoot at Padme Amidala. Because I think she might have went in like more of a down squat. squat. Sorry. But uh, let's go do that off to the side. Of course, the Cartoon Network secret code inside to unlock the new episodes. Or to sing. And I don't know if I still have the form in here. Yes, I do. The Also, the package comes with this form that I'm about two years overdue for. Oh, wait, never mind. Maybe I don't have it. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> Not in this drawer, anyway. But it comes with the, uh... Nope. <laughs> it comes with the exclusive form to get the, uh, Sergeant Brick in Battle Map. Uh, very late on that. I don't know why I didn't turn in UPC codes to get that. Because I remember I got a Gree, a, uh... I got the Gree figure, uh... The Mandalorian uh, Previsla figure, and uh, shoot, who else did I get with that? That Mandalorian police officer. So I don't. I had perfect reason to see that. Why didn't I get Harden Brick? Why am I that stupid? I'm just thinking that now. <laughs> um, yeah, and the figure number eleven, obviously late. The little thing up here to see Sergeant Brick. The card holder thing. I'm going to take the bubble out real quick. I got this um, one quite well compared to my other figures. And the Shadow of the Dark Side packaging. Great still shot of her up here. Showing off her two pistols. Uh, other figures in the wave. Uh, yeah, see how late I am. Look, the Anakin with the space gear, Man Mandalorian Previsla, uh, Mandalorian police officer, and the General Grievous. General Grievous, General Grievous. I like Grievous better. I think it sounds cooler. Uh, and another still shot of the figure. And the still shot of her when they're in, like, that... Right, in, right as they're walking into that armory after they kill all those Senate commandos. And now to the bio. Um, Aura Singh is a force-sensitive bounty hunter. Sorry about the light. I'm going to have to pick this up. The light's really bad in my room. Like the cloud just went over. The clouds just went over the sun. Is a bounty hunter, mercenary, and assassin. She is willing to work for anyone who can meet her price. She provides her expert sniper skills to Cad Bane on Coruscant. Duh. Her skills are are well known in the criminal underworld. Many aspiring bounty hunters seek her out for training despite her reputation as a cold hearted taskmaster. Just like uh, when she was in that armory or whatever that was, when they blew them up, there was still one Senate Commando left. And he was like, Please help me, please help me. And she turns around and pulls out a pistol and shoots him right, I think, in the face. I'm pretty sure it was in the face. I, I don't, I wish they would show it. But then again, I, they probably don't just because they're scared about what people's parents may say, uh, which I think is dumb. It should be, it should be like that. Um, I I do not like some kids at the age of four, like me and a couple of other of you, do collect at the age of four. But I saw a kid the other day who got like three of these and was probably like five three Star Wars figures. And he had one in his hand and I think it was an Anakin Skywalker and he was missing both arms. So like, yeah, these figures I think are for higher ages. But that's just me. I'm, I think maybe some of you may agree with me on that. I don't, I don't like that age is four and up. I think it should be a little bit older for that. But again, that's just me. Uh, so that does it for this review. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, like this video if you... Well, let me see. Like. Oh, well, never mind. Like and uh, favorite. So that does it for this review. See you next time. And my next... Hopefully my next review will be on the Legacy Collection... My first legacy collection, Ebo Tripper. So, till the next video, guys. Bye.